Hello friends, once again this is Pranesh Kumar Mishra before you. We are going to discuss CVSC class 9, one of the piece of fiction. The name of the story is Keeping It From Herald. Keeping It From Herald, it is written by P.G. Woodhouse. Wood plus house, W-O-D-H-O-U-S. Here P.G. His full form for PG is Plum Grainville. Plum, Plum, Plum Grainville Woodhouse. Plum Grainville Woodhouse has titled the story Keeping It From Herald. Here Herald is a 10 years old boy. And Keep From, this is a phrase. The meaning is to hide something from or kisi cheez se duri banakar rakhna. So, something was kept from Herald. Let us find out what was kept from Herald. Sometime when there is a tension like situation in your family member, then your parents hide something. You might have remembered that type of situation. Your parents hide something from you so that why should my child take tension about the same for money matters or any quarrel in neighborhood or it may be anything related to you or not related to you same type of situation is there that from this boy herald something is kept from so the title is keeping it it what is it we have to know Keeping it from Herald. So, what to keep from the Herald? Let us discover. And before we come to talk about the main story or the outline of the story, let me introduce some characters of this story. First of all, Herald. Herald is a 10 years old boy, son of Bill Bramble, a boxer. Bill Bramble and Jane Bramble mother. He was an extraordinary child, extraordinarily talented child and an exceptional child by all standards, by all standards. He was completely devoted to his books and won many competitions. Remember it? Much of the question will be related to this line that he was very talented and he won many competitions academically and his father was a boxer and he was doing that physical work and boxing according to him he just like a brutish work and they dislike it they, since his child was taking interest in academic they wanted to hide it parents especially father Bill wanted to hide his profession, keep his profession away, keeping it from Herod, keep his profession away from his son. Okay, next is Bill Bramble, Mr. Bill Bramble. He was a professional boxer with public name Young Pokey, P-O-R-K-Y. Young Pokey was his nickname and proud of this. Uh, some wrestler, WWF, you name them. Yes, just like his name was Young Pocky. Okay, muscular man, a boxer, a mighty man and better performer in the ring. And proud of this, proud of his name he was. He is sensitive father. But he is very sensitive father as your father is there. My father is there. Very sensitive father and cared for his child's education so he kept secret about his profession from Harold as it might affect his child education adversely. He thinks so. Mrs. Jane Bramble, she was a housewife. Uh, like her husband, she cared her son very much. She is proud of her son that how talented son they have and then Major Percy Stocks, he was brother of Jane Bramble. He is as much concerned about Harold and his academic 
as Mrs. and Mr. Bramble, they all know the talent of this child. Okay, so they are very much conscious about the child. He also wanted to hide Bill's profession from Harold. So his education, his soaring high in education will not be affected the thing. And then uh, next character is Jerry Fisher. F-I-S-H-E-R. J-E-R-R-Y. F-I-S-H-E-R. Jerry Fisher. He was... A trainer at White Hart, that is the name of the place where Bill at that place where Bill was training for the match. Next match that will give him lots of money. He was completely fed up with the decision of Bill not to pay, not to sorry, not to play the match. He wants to avoid it because if he plays the match, then this will be discovered to discovered to uh, Harold, the boy. To take his revenge, he wanted to uh, spoke the truth of his profession to Harold. He said that if you will not fight, then I will say your son that you are young Poppy. Now, the main structure of the story, plot of the story, so that you can go through the main story having this idea in your brain so that that will be very easy to grasp the story and answering the question of literature which will appear in your examinations. So before you listen my video just read the questions from the text and then re-watch my video listen carefully so that you can automatically get the answer which will be deeply imprinted in your mind and you can make answer easily. So story starts like this. Let me read the theme of the story and plot of the story. Mr. and Mrs. Bramble were immensely proud of her son Harold. Harold was 10 years old, a prodigy, Shantan and an exceptional child by all standards as I repeated earlier also. An intellectual, he won prizes in competitions, many competitions like painting, quizzes and others. He was very classy and so superior that even his parents developed a complex about him. Harold was a model of excellent behavior. Not only his academic was excellent and superb, his behaviorism was also praiseworthy. Such child he was. And he respected his parents a lot. Mr. Bramble was a professional boxer and had been proud of his fame. But ever since Harold was born, he had kept these a secret from his son. Harold was told that his father was a commercial traveler, not a boxer. I repeat, commercial traveler, not a boxer. Mr. Bramble who had thrived on his feet in the boxing ring, uh, trembled to see his name in print now. Very soon, all the newspapers and other they heralded, they announced the next match and uh, the father is very fearful that in pamphlets and newspaper when my name will come, perhaps this will be discovered to my son. Mr. Bramble was already 31 years old and he had decided to have his last boxing match and then retire. He wanted to earn lots of money for his further education and the last match he wanted to fight and then he wanted retirement. A week away, Bill Bramble was scheduled to have this last fight. The 20 around consent with American Murphy, his fight was with American Murphy, another wrestler and at the National Sporting Club, the venue was National Sporting Club for which he was training at the White Hart down the road. The place where he was taking training was White Hart. So remember the name, this may be question also. 
Mrs. Bramble sends Harold for a walk, but she is surprised to see her husband and her brother, Major Percy Stocks, in the doorway. She is shocked to know that Bill has decided not to fight and there is lot of discussion regarding his decision with Percy Stocks. And Percy Stocks said that if you won't fight, then I will tell Harold what is your factuality. <laughs> so he had to fight. Jerry Beggs pleads, cries and tempts Bill, tempts, give greed, tempts Bill, but he is steadfast, firm in his decision. No, I don't have to fight because this fight will be covered by all newspapers and my son from whom I am keeping the news from, he will know. So I won't fight it, otherwise it will come in advertisement and my son will discover who am I. Mr. Jerry Fisher feels cheated. He wants his revenge. So he peels over the entire story to Harold despite all opposition. Bill feels let down in front of his son and tells him frankly that he was not a man of wrath, anger, but just a professional boxer. He was not a brute, just he was a professional boxer. He is angry with his parents for hiding this secret for long. Harold was saying that if you would not have hidden this from me, it would make no difference. You are taking pension and stress. Without reason, I could have understood. You must have told me about this earlier. They come to know that Harold come to know that his father was young Porky. He even requests for a photograph of his father to impress his friends. The stock encourages Jerry Fisher and Bill also goes to compete his training. Harold reverts back to playing games with his mother and continues with his affectionate chat. And it so happened that at last Bill fights and then the tension that if my son would come to know that I am a boxer will affect my son's quality and academic field and area. It was not so so <clears throat> we must share uh, father and son friendly uh, everything. This is the theme of the story and that was the story and the title of the story meaning I think would be clear and the title was Keeping It From Herald. Keep From Herald. What to keep from Herald would be clear to you, no doubt. So I hope this story will not be a mysterious one for you and difficult one for you. So. Uh, dear students, go through the main text so that you can grasp very beautiful vocabularies are there, beautiful expressions are there. I have told you the theme and outline of the story, but don't miss the original one also. Happy reading.